Okay, let's get to our last leg for the day. North Korea has threatened a nuclear strike on the heart of the U.S. if he attempts to remove Kim Jong-un as supreme leader. Well, the threat is in response to comments made by CIA Director Mike Pompeo, who said that the Trump administration needed to find a way to separate Kim from his growing nuclear stockpile. Pompeo's comment comes amid ongoing assessment from the U.S. intelligence community that North Korea has accelerated its intercontinental range ballistic missile program and had mastered the technology to mount a nuclear warhead on the missile. Uh, well, but while uh, North Korea has threatened the United States, Vice Chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff General Paul Selva says the Asian country does not have the ability to strike them with any degree of accuracy. Well, Jermaine Sonwolu is joining us now and, of course, to talk more about this. Thank you for your time, Jermaine Sonwolu. Uh, you're talking to us from Abuja, you're the CEO, Diaspora PR. A few weeks ago, we discussed uh, the threat uh, North Korea is posing to the world and could even cause Third World War. Now, would you say the CIA Director Pompeo goofed by making that statement publicly? Well, thanks a lot for having me um, this morning. Um, well, I would say that he just um, wanted to send a message um, to the North Korean um, um, government um, to be very, very careful. Well, you know, America and the Donald Trump um, philosophy right now is to say it as it is. Well, North Korea has been threatening America and the rest of the world with nuclear um, attacks for a couple of years right now. But remember just a few weeks ago, I think on July 4th, they actually tested a long-range intercontinental ballistic missile, which has the potential of hitting um, Alaska, Ohio, regions such as that, and which is the heart of America, which is the people of America. So um, America is just trying to be very, very cautious and send him a signal that if they try anything, um, we are ready for you. All right, uh, Jermaine, it, it is quite uh, concerning that uh, despite the uh, atomic energy, it, the agency that uh, monitors and regulates uh, all of these, South, North Korea has not been able to be put under control. Yes, it's quite unfortunate. Um, um, that's because um, North Korea is like a communist nation, and they are in a, a they, they, they are an authority in themselves. They try and do what they want to do and exclude the whole world from them, from them, even commerce, even um, technology. They are um, they, infrastructurally they are backward, and they just want to be on their own doing what they want to do. But the atomic agency, as you said, had to actually, actually um, ensure that there are tougher measures put in place for rogue nations such as. North Korea and also Iran to ensure that nuclear um, empowerment, nuclear um, um, options that they may possess actually is actually kept to the barest minimum because they are very, very erratic nations and they could cause a danger to the rest of the world. And I was about to ask that, don't you think that undermining North Korea could, co could cause a problem for the rest of the world? Because, uh, yes, uh, an official of the U.S. government was saying that uh, it doesn't even have the capability to uh, get accurate uh, target of the U.S. soil. But then the last missile test of North Korea got to the doorstep of Alaska. Yes, yes. It actually has the potential of reaching Alaska. And um, what the, um, the, the American government has to understand is that um, North Korea has the potential um, to actually do this. But they also are aware that the um, ballistic missiles that they have do not actually have the potential to actually um, mount a nuclear scale attack. They have been tested and they cannot actually cause, once they go up, they cannot actually have the entry into the atmosphere. So so yes, they have the potential to do it, but they don't even have the nuclear power right now to mount on those things. We know they're just trying to do this based on um, the, uh, the North Korean holiday, which is coming up on the 27th of July, um, which is just like an anniversary for the army change that took place in the Korean War. And they're just trying to show that they are strong, they are powerful. But America is also being cautious, even though the Aspen Security Forum recently advised um, the Trump administration that military option may be um, one of the things to consider in dealing with North Korea, but they have to be careful that an Iraq situation whereby they go and um, attack a foreign nation is not created because that area is quite sensitive. Many of us know that South Korea, North Korea um, are just around China, which is a world power, and we don't want to cause any kind of world war um, interfering with um, China um, internal security too. All right, Jermaine, uh, the tension in the Korean Peninsula is, is, is heightening. 
And uh, we wonder what scenarios going forward do you see playing out? Well, um, right now, the American forces, as you know, South Korea is an ally with um, America. America already has some air bases um, right there, you know, by the border, and they are ready to actually defend South Korea. Um, and it's China that has a role to play in all this. Um, they are allies, you know, communist allies, but can China is a bit more liberal than North Korea. China has to play a part in actually negotiating diplomatic and also um, 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 a kind of a, 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 a balance to all this. Because if China does not intervene by stopping them by having some um, trade restrictions on importing their coal, it will see that North Korea will keep on getting confident. And China, too, has a part to play. Because they don't want America to have North Korea and also South Korea. That's if they invade North Korea. And they don't want to be surrounded by American forces. So China has to actually um, show, ensure that their diplomatic relations restored and actually curtail the excesses of the North Korean government. Well, then, will China do it? Because it needs to be the superpower in the Asian Well, well uh, analysts have Absolutely. said that all of this, China has the power to say North Korea stand down. But however, Jermaine Songolu, thank you for coming on the program. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you.